Dear learners, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Munish Ahlawat from Institute of Hotel Management, Dehradun. Today, we shall be taking module number 35, titled Chocolates and Pastries under paper, Food Production Operation and Management. The learning objectives of this module are Understand the origin of chocolate and cocoa. Know about the chocolate through the years. Understand the detailed production of chocolate right from the harvesting of the cocoa bean to the storage and shipping of chocolate. Extraction of cocoa butter and cocoa powder. Tempering of chocolate and uses of chocolate. Learn about the non-laminated pastries. Introduction Chocolate satisfies our desire for something sweet and the whole world loves it. Due to its unique taste and flavor, it has a tendency of creating most delicious biscuits, cakes, ice creams and even savory products. When we want to give a person a treat to please, we think of chocolate. Chocolate is made from the bean Theobroma cacao, that means food for the gods. Since three millennia, the cultivation of cocoa has been done in Central America and Mexico, with its earliest documented use around 11,000 BC. Seed of chocolate has bitter taste and needs to be fermented well before used and after it is roasted and coarsely grounded, the resulting product is chocolate. Physiology Alkaloids are an important part of chocolates such as the obromine and phenethylamine and they have physiological effects on the body. Chocolate can lower blood pressure. Chocolate's melting point is low, so it melts in the mouth. Nutritional Facts Serving size 4 level tablespoons 30 gram Servings per container 15 Amount per serving Calories 80 Calories from fat 15 Percentage daily value Total fat 2 gram 3% Saturated fat less than 1 gram 0% Trans fat 0 gram Poly unsaturated fat 1 gram mono unsaturated fat less than 1 gram cholesterol 0 mg 0% sodium 5 mg 0% total carbohydrate 19 grams 6% dietary fiber 12 gram 48% soluble fiber 1 gram insoluble fiber 11 gram sugars 7 gram protein 7 gram vitamin A 0% Vitamin C 0%, Calcium 2%, Iron 15%, Thiamine 10%, Phosphorus 10%, Magnesium 20%, Zinc 8%. Percent daily values are based on 2000 calorie diet. Chocolate has substances which have an effect on body. These include sugar, theobromine, tryptophan, phenethylamine, caffeine. Chocolate, Sokolatal, History of Chocolate 4th century Mayas began growing cocoa tree in Yucatan. 9th century, the Toltecs invade Yucatan. By 900, Quetzalcoatl was king of the Toltecs. He could become the god of chocolate. 14th century, the Aztecs succeeded to the Toltecs. 1519, Cortez landed on the Mexican coast and discovered Socatl. 1528, first cocoa beans sent to Spain, Charles V made it a monopoly. 1606, merchant Antonio Carletti brought chocolate into Italy. 1615, Anne of Australia married Louis XIII and introduced chocolate to France. 1650, First cocoa plantations in West Indies. 1657, 
first chocolate shop opened in Great Britain. 1674, a London shop sold the first chocolate pastilles. 1705, an office of Queen's Chocolatiers instituted by the courts of France. 1770, creation of Pelletier and co-French chocolate and tea company. 1778, Dorothean engineer invented the hydraulic press. 1815, the Van Houten chocolate factory was set up in Great Britain. 1824, the Cadbury chocolate factory was set up in Great Britain. 1825, the Sukard chocolate factory was set up in Switzerland. 1828, Van Houten patented cocoa powder. 1842, Berry Chocolatier was set up. 1857, the Paulin Chocolate Factory was set up in France. 1875, John Tobler invented milk chocolate. 1879, Rodolphe Lint invented process of conking. 1923, American Frank C. Maas invented the chocolate bar. 1952, Barry Calibou established processing factories in Cocoa Plantations. 1980, the Club de Croqueres, the chocolate, was founded in France. 1995, the creation of Salon du Chocolate in Paris. Cocoa The cocoa harvest, a delicate crop, requires careful handling. Cocoa tree is harvested mainly during the period of October to March. In Africa, the harvest begins at the end of the rainy season and lasts until the start of dry season. A second harvest also takes place during the initial start of the coming rainy season. But the bean doesn't dry if it rains. Whether in Africa Latin America or Southeast Asia, skilled plantation workers use long poles with specially shaped blades to pull down the ripe fruit without damaging the branches, blossoms and unripe fruits. There are four brands of cocoa beans used in chocolate making. Forestero, Criollo 5%, Trinitario, Nacional. Incomparable and unmistakable aroma of the cocoa can be felt if our eyes are closed. The old world received this gift from the new world and they had waited a long time for this brown powder. It goes well with cinnamon and vanilla and also balances the taste of sugar. Patience is required to grow and harvest this brown gold and huge amounts of expertise to handle its fruits and scientific know-how to produce the treasured result. Major Cocoa Producers of the World World Harvest 1993 26,62,250 tons by country of origin Ivory Coast 32.1% Ghana 8.9% Indonesia 9.1%, Nigeria 5.8%, Cameroon 5%, Brazil 14.3%, Ecuador 3.1%, Papua New Guinea 1.5%, others 9.2%, Malaysia 9.4%, Dominican Republic 1.9%, Mexico 1.8%, Colombia 2.3%, Venezuela 0.6%. Western Africa provides for two-thirds of the world's cocoa produce and also around 43% is sourced from Cote d'Ivoire. World's biggest three chocolate makers are Archer Daniels Midland Company, Berry Calibou, Cargill. The production process from cocoa mass to coverture Fine chocolate should be blend which has at least 40% of very high quality beans. Coverture is the name given to those chocolates 
which are widely used in making of icings, toppings, candies, cream fillings. Coverture has sugar, vanilla, lecithin, cocoa butter, and cocoa solids. Cocoa liqueur to sugar proportion is also very important. If we increase this proportion, the chocolate will become more dark. Semi-sweet and butter-sweet chocolate must contain at least 50% total dry chocolate liquor. Milk chocolate has at least 25% total dry cocoa solids combined with 14% dry milk solids, 3.5% mild fats and maximum of 55% sugar. White chocolate is not called a chocolate because it is made from cocoa butter which lacks the component that gives cocoa its color and taste. It must be called white confectionery coating legally. Growing Cocoa bean grows on a tropical tree in large pods. It needs the protection of any taller tree. It is a colorful crop and the pods when ripe are 15 to 20 cm long, oval and pointed each containing 20 to 40 beans. Harvesting When the picker taps the pod, the picker knows that it is ready for harvesting. By experience, the crop is harvested from September to February. Fermenting The crucial step on the route from cocoa bean to raw cocoa. The microorganisms are naturally present on the large pods and due to tropical climate, Fermentation occurs naturally, which causes the inner flesh having sugar to decompose and release the cocoa beans. Banana leaves are widely used for fermentation. The broad-leaved banana trees are already cultivated on plantations to provide shade for the cocoa trees. During the fermentation, the biochemical structure of the seed changes. The initially white pulp of the fruit becomes the typically brown cocoa color. Flavor develops and the better taste becomes milder. Wooden crates are used to ferment large quantities of seeds. Each day, the seeds are turned by scooping them from one crate to another. After 5 to 7 days, the process is complete and the seeds are dried. Drying The beans are dried on bamboo mats. For 10 to 20 days or in the commercial plant dryers, the sun is a perfect energy source for drying. The beans acquire a very pure taste. This cannot always be said of those dried under cover, where fire is used to hasten the process. Manual labor is necessary part of the drying process. The beans are picked over and turned continuously to distribute the heat uniformly. They are spread on mats or wire cracks or placed in huge flat wooden boxes in a layer 2 to 4 inches deep. Grading and cleaning Then they are cleaned at a preliminary stage to remove any stones or other objects by sieving. The dried pulp around the bean is removed. Roasting for flavor Roasting adds on flavor and aroma, and the degree of roasting is important. Overdoing it destroys the natural flavor of the bean and produces a bitter product. In order to prevent internal roasting, the beans are cooled as soon as possible. Winnowing The beans are passed through the husking machine which cracks open the roasted beans and blows the lighter husk away from the heavier pieces of nib. Blending Two or more types of cocoa are blended together to get a better product before it is sent into the grinding machine. Grinding The nibs pass through a series of rollers resulting in coarse particles that eventually turn into a warm paste because of the frictional heat of the grinding action. After grinding, cocoa liquid flows into the shallow metal containers. The liquid is set into cakes. Parting 
of the way. This means at this stage it is decided as to if cocoa powder or eating chocolate is to be made. The next step is the extraction of cocoa butter. This is pressed out of the cocoa cakes and the residue is again formed into cakes that is cocoa butter. After grinding the fine powder of the cocoa is used for cocoa powder. Sometimes a vegetable fat and soya beans is added to the cocoa powder which helps to get mixed without lumps in cold water or milk. Mixing Cocoa butter is mixed with the center of the bean which is used for eating. The manufacturers add a vegetable fat to replace cocoa butter. The mixture is fed into a round machine which has a horizontal rotating base on which runs heavy rollers. This paste resembles a kneaded dough. Refining The above paste is passed through five rollers. This has adjusted gaps and at the end of the fifth roller, it is a wafer thin. Conking A complex refining process in which the chocolate liquor is converted into a creamy liquid by kneading it continuously and also with the help of heat which is being generated by friction. Rudolf Lindt in the year 1880 invented the conking machine. The machine agitates the liquid chocolate very gently for a period which can go up to 7 days. This gives a velvety smoothness and reduces if any bitterness is present in the liquid. For cheaper brands, agitation is done just for 12 to 24 hours. Any flavor like vanilla, cinnamon or cloves can be added at this stage. Tempering The temperature of chocolate liquor at this stage is 113 to 114 degree Fahrenheit. Tempering is done to give silky smoothness to this liquid. First, the liquor is cooled to 83 degree and then again heated to 89 degree Fahrenheit. In this way, the fat crystals get stabilized and chocolates break with a snap. It is now ready for consumption and needs only to be poured into bars and blocks, then cooled and packaged. Working temperature of dark chocolate is 32 degrees and 29 degrees for white chocolate. The two classical ways of chocolate tempering are table layering, seeding using pastilles. Types of chocolate Designation Chocolate Vermicelli flakes chocolate Coverture chocolate Gyanduja nut chocolate Milk chocolate Milk chocolate vermicelli flakes Coverture Milk chocolate Gyanduja nut milk chocolate Cocoa Total dry cocoa solids 35% 32% 35% 32% 35% 25%, 20%, 25%, dry non-fat cocoa solids, 14 14%, 14%, 2.5%, 8%, 2.5%, 2.5%, 2.5%, 2.5%, 2.5%, cocoa butter, 18%, 12%, 31%, 18%, milk, dry milk solids, 14%, 12%, 14%, 10%. Milk fat, 3.50%, 3.5%, 3.5%. Total fats, cocoa butter and milk fat, 25%, 12%, 31%. Other product, ground hazelnut, 20 to 40%. Ground hazelnut, 15 to 40%. Plain chocolate or bitter chocolate should contain 60% of cocoa solids and a good quality dark chocolate should contain a small quantity of sugar and sugar is added to enhance the flavor. Types of bitter chocolate Milk chocolate Percentage of cocoa solids is about 30% and has 40% sugar and 30% of milk solids which gives a mild and a sweet flavor. White chocolate, this is basically cocoa butter 
and without any cocoa solids with some added sugar flavoring and milk the best quality chocolate brand tend to be swiss and french coverture this is a pure quality chocolate in which cocoa percentage is high thus giving it a glossy texture it is widely used for decorative purposes coverture would have 40% cocoa solids 40% cocoa butter and 20% sweetening chocolate chips these are very small pieces of chocolate having uniform size they contain fewer cocoa solids than ordinary chocolate and are in dark milk and white flavor chocolate powder this is used in making drinks and is used for baking it has lower cocoa solids and has a much milder and sweeter taste organic chocolate more expensive than other chocolates it is high in cocoa solids the crops are produced without pesticides and with consideration with the environment cocoa powder after most of the cocoa butter is removed the cocoa mass is roasted and then ground to make a fine powder this is the most economical way of giving a chocolate flavor to puddings and baked foods basic techniques of working with chocolate chopping and grating the chocolate to be chopped or grated should be firm chill briefly if required chop or grate on a clean dry surface try to handle the chocolate as little as possible with your hands use a paper to hold the chocolate to prevent it from melting with that heat from your hands use a knife that has a large sharp blade and use the broad end not the tip cut the chocolate into even sized pieces melting chocolate chocolate should not be melted over direct heat use a double boiler or a water bath stir the chocolate occasionally to push unmelted pieces into melted ones melted chocolate should have a smooth glossy texture overheated chocolate will seize or separate turning into a rough mass seized chocolate can be rescued by stirring in a teaspoon of warm vegetable oil do not cover the bowl when melting chocolate a condensation on the underside of the lid can cause harm to the chocolate if melting chocolate with other ingredients see that there is enough of it at least 1 tablespoon of liquid for every 16 grams of chocolate all ingredients should be at room temperature before starting a recipe tempering chocolate coverture there are three methods for tempering coverture the first method is extremely precise and is not suitable for working with small quantities the coverture is cut into small pieces and heated to exactly 91.4 degree fahrenheit which is the melting point of cocoa butter it is then simply stirred ready for instant use this process can be carried out by highly accurate tempering equipment since the melting point and maximum working temperature are identical the table method the second method of tempering is the one most frequently used it is both quick and highly suited to small quantities the coverture is again cut into smaller pieces and melted but the maximum temperature is 104 degree fahrenheit about half quantity of coverture is poured on a stainless steel slab or a marble slab and immediately spread in order to let it cool down then it is again scraped from the slab and mixed with warm coverture one has to be agile enough while handling it as it tends to solidify the injection method the third method of tempering is very simple indeed grated or very finely chopped coverture is stirred injected in small quantities at a time into melted coverture starts to become visible 
मोर विस्कस एंड स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स डिजोल्व ओनली स्लोली इट इज देन केयरफुली हीटेड अंटिल इट रीच इज द आइडियल टेम्परेचर ऑफ एटी नाइन डिग्री फेरन हीट यूजेज एंड स्टोरेज ऑफ चॉकलेट चॉकलेट हैज ए वाइड वराइटी ऑफ यूजेज इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड ऑफ कन्फेक्शनरी इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट्स एंड द वर्ल्ड्स मोस्ट डिलेक्टेबल फूड्स इट इज यूज इन द मेकिंग ऑफ केक्स फ्रॉस्टिंग्स कोल्ड डेजर्ट्स फ्रोजन डेजर्ट्स पुडिंग्स बिस्किट्स पाइज टार्ट्स एंड फ्लैंस कन्फेक्शनरी सॉसेस बेवरेजेस एंड इवन सम सेवरी आइटम्स चॉकलेट डेकोरेशन एनहांस द अपीरेंस ऑफ डेजर्ट्स एंड केक्स and offer opportunities to create original displays of chocolate perfection decoration in the form of grated chocolate curls crack chocolate leaves chocolate ribbons baskets cutouts boxes pipings molded flowers etc are some of the ways the chocolate is used to create an attractive form of art storing chocolate Chocolate is to be stored between 15 and 17 degrees Celsius. The relative humidity should be less than 50%. Chocolate tend to absorb aromas of other foods. Thus it has to be stored away from strong smelling foods. Chocolate should be stored wrapped in butter paper or grease proof paper. Blooming can occur if stored improperly. non laminated pastries introduction pastry paste in french most kinds of pastry are made with a combination of flour fat and a liquid to bind the texture flavor and color of the resulting pastry will vary tremendously depending on the proportions and type of ingredients used main ingredients flour The flour used in pastry making is weak to medium strong. This type of flour requires a longer fermentation period yet has a better tolerance for extended work on the bench especially for doughs such as puff or danish which require multiple rolls and folds. Shortening fat. Lard was probably the first fat used in pastry making but has fallen out of flavor. for health reasons pure butter gives pastry a rich flavor and color and a crisp texture but it can be difficult to handle most bakers use a combination of butter and hard margarine to achieve a balance of good buttery color and flavor with the short flaky texture provided by the margarine unsalted butter is preferably because it has a lower water content and the amount of salt can be controlled liquid most pastry is bound with water although milk or other liquids can be used fresh milk is acceptable to use in any formula sugar it is used to both sweeten the final pastry and create a crisper texture a teaspoon or two is often added to savory doughs because the sugar helps the pastry to color The most common sugar used is the white granulated type. This yields the finest product. Eggs. They are added for richness in texture and flavor and because they help bind all the ingredients together. Eggs improve the handling and quality of the dough. Yeast. Yeast content is increased in pastry dough because of the high sugar content. Spices and additives. a little grated orange or lemon rind should add just the right flavor to your pastry flavoring such as vanilla almond can be used to enhance the dough as can spices such as cinnamon nutmeg ginger or cardamom classification of pastry short crust shoe pastry puff pastry short crust rubin method creaming method shoe pastry hot water crust sweet paste puff pastry flaky rough puff full puff danish short crust pastry rubin method 
proportion of fat to flour is 1 is to 2. Weak flour is used so it absorbs less water. Refrigerated fat is rubbed into the flour until it resembles bread crumbs. This ensures that the fat is evenly dispersed and that all the particles of flour are coated with fat, thus decreasing its ability to absorb water. Salt and sugar is dissolved in a little chilled water and is then added to the flour. The mixture is kneaded lightly with the fingertips to form a smooth plastic paste. All the liquid is added at once to the flour as gradual addition of liquid gives uneven texture and blisters when baked. Creaming method Proportion of sugar to fat to flour 1 is to 2 is to 3. Cream the fat with sugar and add egg to the mixture. Flour is then folded in and kneaded lightly to form a soft dough. Changes in short crust while baking. Fat melts. This melted fat turns the dough protein into steam, which gives the leavening action. As the temperature of the dough increases, gluten coagulates and starts to gelatinize. It becomes stiff. Sufficient baking is necessary to drive out moisture in the form of steam. Gluten and starch now absorb the melted fat. Products made from this pastry are chocolate tart, fruit tart, lemon marine, pie and many more. Shoe pastry Proportion of fat to flour to water is 1 is to 1 is to 2. Fat and water is boiled together. Flour is added to the mixture and cooked on low flame. It is then removed from the flame and eggs are added gradually to the mixture until it reaches dropping consistency. It is then piped onto a baking tray and baked immediately. Purpose Shoe paste is a diverse variety of pastry as it can be widely used to prepare many confectionaries and desserts as well as savory dishes. Some popular and common pastry products made out of shoe paste are Eclairs, Paris Prest, Gato Saint Honor, Profit Rolls and many others. The recipes of the dishes vary from dish to dish. Basic Components of Shoe Paste Flour A good strength of flour like medium or strong flour should be used as they have higher amount of gluten which gives the pastry good elasticity and strength. Eggs The amount of eggs used in the pastry totally depends upon the other major constituents of the recipe like fat and flour. Fats The only use of fat in the pastry is to impart flavor to the final product. Other ingredients Few minor components used in shoe paste are sugar, cheese, spices, dry fruits and other flavoring agents. Note: Commercial shoe pastry pre-mixes are available. These require additional eggs and water. Method of preparation For preparing shoe pastry, we need to place a heavy bottom pan with water over heat and boil. Then add the chunks of fat into the boiling water. The chunks of fat should be smaller as it reduces the evaporation of water while boiling. In case of excessive evaporation of water, the pastry will become heavy as the proportion of fat will increase. Now once the fat and flour emulsion is prepared, add the sieved flour to it at once and continuously stir it to form a lump free paste. The temperature of the water and fat should be around boiling temperature for the addition of flour. The final paste produced by this process is known as panada, which is cooked till it leaves the sides of the pan. Now cool down this mixture known as panada till 60 degree Celsius approximately. The addition of eggs is done accordingly to this paste one by one 
and working out the paste to desirable consistency till the next egg is added. The temperature of the panada is decreased in order to stop the egg cook while mixing the egg. The panada should have a coating consistency after adding in the required number of eggs and the amount of eggs depend upon the type of flour used to prepare pastry. The final paste should have good and smooth shiny and should be able to hold the shape after piped yet remain soft. Shoe paste should be piped and baked immediately as there is no need of resting the paste. It should be baked on a lean baking tray which is lightly greased. Ideal baking temperature for the shoe pastry is around 200 to 2200 degree Celsius. Baking shoe pastries is a delicate task. They need proper time and attention as sometimes only the color develops on the outer shell and the pastry remains uncooked from the inside. Few precautions while baking shoe pastries need to keep in mind are that the door of the oven should not be opened frequently as it may cause the collision of the pastry because of constant loss of heat. In case the outer shell is not formed, then reduce the heat and bake it till it dry out. If you are making shoe paste fritters, they should be deep fried at approximately 175 degrees Celsius in clean oil and with a lid to entrap the steam development. Storage All the baked products need to be stored at a low temperature or kept frozen. Before serving or using the stored pastry, they are needed to be preheated lightly to ooze out fresh flavors. The storage time for a prepared shoe paste is up to 24 hours while keeping it covered and frozen. While to use the shoe paste, further you may need to fix it with a beaten egg to reconcile the paste. However, in case of gato or other pastries, there is no need of incorporating the beaten egg. Hot water pastry. Proportion of fat is to water is to flour is 1 is to 1 is to 3. Heat fat and water together. Add this immediately to the flour and knead to a soft dough. Eggs may or may not be added. This pastry is used while it is still warm and pliable. Sweet and short pastry. Purpose Also known as a versatile pastry, sweet pastry is used to prepare various confectionaries like flans, pies, tartlets, petit fours, tarts and biscuits. The key identity of a sweet pastry is that it should melt in your mouth. Short pastry is also used to make flans, pies, tarts and tartlets. It is used mainly to make savory products which do not have the sugar contained in sweet pastry. To achieve success in making these pastries, it is important to select the correct ingredients and adopt the correct procedures. Ingredients the recipe for a sweet and shop pastry includes Ingredients in regular proportion of flour, sugar and fat which is 1 is to 2 is to 3 Generally, 1 part of sugar, 2 parts of fat and 3 parts of flour Flour Use either soft flour or blend of hard and soft flour Depending upon the product being made Fats Generally fat like butter or special shortening like margarine provides better management of the paste while preparation. Sugar Icing sugar or caster sugar is used. They are more readily soluble which has a softening effect on the gluten in the flour. In turn, influencing the shortening properties in the paste. Other ingredients for sweet pastry, almond meal, eggs, milk, water, baking powder, salt and flavoring agents such as vanilla, lemon, cocoa, cinnamon, cardamom. Few additions to the sweet paste are milk, eggs, baking powder, salt, 
almond meal and flavoring like cocoa, lemon, cinnamon, vanilla and cardamom. For short pastry, in case of short pastry, herbs, paprika, poppy seeds, caraway, cheese and many other flavoring are added. Working techniques All of the techniques you will use in the production of pastries have been described in the section. Basic working, terminology and techniques. Refer back to the section if you are not sure on any point. The techniques you will be using in this section are listed below with a reminder of their main features. Creaming. Creaming is mixing fat and sugar. The aim is to make the mixture lighter by incorporating air. Fat should be soft and not oily. Use a bowl large enough for rapid movement. Rubbing in. In this method, the fat and flavor should be rubbed together. The motive to rub fat and flour together is to reduce down the fat to the breadcrumb size particles. These particles melt down while baking by giving off steam which in turn expands and the pastry rises. Folding in The dry ingredients are mixed with creamed mixture with a whisk. Turn gently and add gradually. In this process, the air bubbles shouldn't be disturbed as possible. Docking Small holes are made in pastry. Docking is an essential part of the baking process as it involves the gases or steam to escape while baking and helps to deal with the faults like distorting of pastry. A regular table fork or docker should be used for docking. Blind Baking In blind baking, the pastry mold is lined with butter paper, then beans, rice are filled in it. Motive behind blind baking is to stop rising or shrinking of pastry while baking. When the pastry is 50%, bake then the paper and filling is removed and the base is lightly colored. Dog the pastry before blind baking. Pinning or rolling. Piping and baking. You will also be using all these techniques which were discussed in the earlier section. Please refer back if you need to. Methods of preparation. There are three methods of making sweet pastry. Short pastry can be made by the first two methods with the sugar omitted. Rubbin method. Combine the sifted flour with fat that has been cut into small pieces. Rub fat finely into the flour to form fine crumbs using fingertips. Do not form these ingredients into a paste. Add the sugar and liquid milk, eggs and water and disperse. Do not overwork the pastry because it will toughen and may shrink during baking. Creamed method Fat and sugar Cream the fat and sugar lightly. Do not over cream as it gives the sweet pastry too much lift and makes it run. Gradually add the eggs and liquids to form an emulsion. If the mixture curdles a little warmth on the outside of the ball or a small addition of the measured flour should smooth it. Return it to an even texture. Add the method is the one of the most commonly used in the commercial production of this pastry. Creamed method. Initially, we need to cream the fat along with the half of the flour we already sifted. Now, we need to add sugar to the liquid and prepare a paste via mixing the cream flour or the fat mixture. Finally, add all the remaining flour to the mixture to prepare a fine pastry. Do not overdo. Remember, weigh 
and measure ingredients correctly. This is especially important when working with small quantities. See flour to aerate and remove impurities. When using cocoa powder, baking powder, etc., sift and blend thoroughly with the flour. Keep all ingredients at the appropriate temperature. Do not overwork pastry. Cover and rest the pastry before pinning out. Short pastry requires approximately half an hour in a cool place or in a refrigerator to be ready for use. Sweet pastry should be allowed to become firm in the refrigerator before use. It may need a little further mixing to make it pliable for pinning out. Don't roll out more pastry than is appropriate for the size of your rolling pin. Avoid using excess flour to roll out the pastry as it will dry up and crack the pastry. Some egg whites may be mixed in it this occurs. Short pastry has a shorter shelf life than sweet pastry. It takes on a dull grey color after approximately 24 hours. The key factor in the storage of both pastries are the type of fat used, butter will go rancid in storage, moisture content, how well it has been covered and the temperature at which it has been stored. Take the pastry out of the refrigerator before using because it will start to sweat on the bench when you are pinning. Rest all products prior to baking, preferably in a fridge to minimize shrinkage. Sweet and short pastry products can be frozen, unbaked or baked. When you plan to freeze baked items, they should be underbaked so that once they have defrosted, they can be put back in the oven for a short time to bring out their fresh flavor. Sweet pastry products are hygroscopic, that is, they attract moisture because of the sugar content, resulting in the products getting soft. These products should be stored in dry conditions to maintain their quality. Dear students, let's summarize. In this module, we have learnt about the world's perfect addiction, chocolates and pastry. Chocolates is also defined as food for gods and is relished throughout the world. Produced from the seeds or beans of cocoa plant, chocolate is one of the world's most popular food and beverage and also used as a flavoring. Chocolate in the form of cocoa powder and chocolate syrup or sauce is widely used for confectionaries like candies, pastries and drinks. Overconsumption of chocolate may lead to medical situations like insomnia and tremor. Its popularity began in the America where the cacao tree grew wild. In this module, we have also learnt about non-laminated pastries namely shoe pastry, hot water pastry, sweet pastry, short crust pastry, a paste of flour, fat, salt and water is known as pastry. Optional ingredients may be added such as sugar, flavor, milk solids, egg yolk, etc. Namely, shoe pastry, hot water pastry, sweet pastry and short crust pastry. Thank you.